Hello everyone. So welcome to our financial solutions today seminar. So how is everyone doing? Okay, so we'll be uh, uh, doing a lot of trainings about financial literacy. So we are planning to do three times a week. Okay, so make sure you tune in. Make sure that you subscribe from our Facebook channel. You like and you share as well as in our uh, Facebook page. So we can uh, share it to a lot of people and we can make a lot of difference in the life of people, especially to sa mga talagang uh, uh, nag-struggle financially. Okay, so this is your coach Jay. And right now we are going to study about retirement plan. Okay, so before we start, so let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this opportunity of learning. Continue to open our hearts and our mind, O oh God, that be able to understand, okay, Lord, Lord this uh, particular topic. Continue to guide us, Lord, in terms of managing our finances. Let your Holy Spirit be with us, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we are going to discuss today about retirement. Okay. Retirement plan. So how many of you have your retirement plan? Do you think it's important? <laughs> you know, statistically... Uh, an estimated 80% of Filipinos nearing retirement, 80% of Filipinos nearing retirement are financially unprepared. So, grabe no, 80%. So, talagang parang ang konti lang na nagpe-prepare for their retirement. At ito pa mabigat na reality, ano? This another harsh reality. 8 out of 10 Okay, age 60 and above. So, 8 out of 10, 6, 10 above. In many cases, ito yung ating mga tinatawag na retirees. Do not, uh, do not uh, receive sufficient pension to fully cover their living expenses. So, medyo alarming. Ano? So, this is something that we really need to work on, okay? Dahil uh, life is short at hindi naman natin mapipigilan yung ating edad, no? So, what are the things that we need to consider about retirement plan? Okay? So, in our retirement plan, uh, first and foremost, of course, you need to, and we need to consider Two things, uh, time and amount. So these are our horizon. So how much time and how much money? When when do you retire? And what is the amount needed? Okay. So the next one is, yon. So we have the time. So when will you retire? The amount. And the next one is how much money you're setting aside. Have you ever set aside? You know, sometimes probably you cannot set aside money because you may not know exactly how much do you need. And another thing that you need to consider is the lifestyle. Okay, the lifestyle activity that you will be uh, considering in your retirement. So these are the factors, no? Because... Um, we have to understand that you know, retirement, this retirement, okay, is this is not about accumulated wealth. So let's understand it. Retirement is not about accumulated wealth. It's all about it's all about lifestyle 
maintenance. I said there is a mistake that, okay, I'll save 10 million, then I retire. So that's not basically the consideration. It's all about maintaining your lifestyle because by the time that you retire, most likely you have no more work, but the income must continue. Okay, another is retirement. Retirement is all about income replacement. So meaning you can retire once you can replace your income. And it's not about network. Kasi yung network, nauubos siya, nagagasa siya. You know? So this is a very, very uh, important, important uh, topic no so again another uh, things that we are dealing is retirement has nothing to do with age so hindi mo kailangan magantay ng 60 years old to retire no retirement has something to do it has something to do with your capability. Kaya importante, alam natin how much do you need so that if you are, once you are capable, you can retire at any age. You can retire young, you can retire rich, you can retire at 25, you can retire at 30, you can retire at 35. It really doesn't matter. What matters is are you capable of retiring? Okay. Are you learning? So let's now go to the steps. So let's deal with the steps. Steps in retirement planning. So let me just give you some uh, simple steps. No? Number one, understand, as we have said before earlier, understand the Number one, time and amount. So meaning, when will you retire? So for example, your current age, let's use an example. Your current age is 30 years old. You want to retire at age 50 years old. So meaning you have 20 years to work on the plan for your retirement. Are you following? So secondly, uh, then the amount, how much money do you need? But basically, we, 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 can, we can estimate, but we have to, uh, we need to, get the exact computation. So how do we do it? On number two, let's determine your expenses. So let's say your expenses is uh, includes food, medicine, clothing. Okay, so how much money do you need for that? So usually, compete natin yan right on our situation right now. So, madali siyang compete kung gagamitin natin yung current uh, situation natin or current time. Let's use a 2022 uh, a 2022 data. Okay? For example, sa food natin is you use 5,000, medicine is 5,000, is clothing 5,000, then travel. 5,000. Let's say dito muna tayo sa 20,000 per month. <clears throat> 20,000 per month ang kailangan mong expenses for your. So meaning, that's 240,000 per year. Kung ngayon ka magre-retire, so madali lang po kumpitin yan. Uh, we use a formula called uh, itong expenses mo. I-divide mo siya sa interest rate ng iyong uh, savings divided by 12 months. 
Okay, so let's say your interest rate mo is uh, uh, 10%. So you use a 0 0.01. So 0 0.0 or 12. Well, complete in natin. Let's say 20,000 divided by 0 0.01. So you need 2 million right now to retire. If you will retire today para mabuhay ka with your with this kind of expenses. Yan ay kung ngayon yan, ano? Kung ngayon yan, 2022. But you got to understand, kung ang pagbabasihan natin ay 20 years, so it might not be applicable. Okay? So there's a lot of computation with this. So kailangan ma-determine natin yung expenses natin. That's why here in LSA, so in FSTI, meron tayong ginagamit na computation. If you want us to give you the right computation with your retirement, then we will do it for you. Okay? So, but for the sake of time, so there will be another training on how we are going to make computation about your retirement. So, punta muna tayo dun sa pangatlo. Pangatlong steps is kailangan para makapagplano ka sa retirement is you have to eliminate first all kinds of debt. Okay, so number four, of course, you need to save and invest. And lastly, identify where you want to live. Alam niyo, malaking factor po no, kung saan kayo magre-retire, kung saan kayo titira. Baka mamay magre-retire kayo sa farm, iba ang buhay doon. Magre-retire kayo sa city, magre-retire kayo sa ibang bansa. So we need to identify because this will also be cost determinant, no? where to live. Okay, so we have, we have a lot of LSA program for your retirement. Okay. But if you plan today, so on our next topic, so we will have a part two of the retirement is we will determine the cost, the real cost. So we will have some example on how to compute your retirement. Okay. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. We, we hope that you learn from this topic because uh, this is one of our mission. No? Kailangan natin ma-prepare yung sarili, ma -prepare yung sarili natin for our retirement. Okay, so God bless everyone.